When he campaigned for the presidency in 1992, Bill Clinton considered his wife Hillary Rodham as an asset. You buy one, get one free, he joked about her policy acumen and intention to play an active role in White House affairs. But Americans were ambivalent about having an empowered, highly educated woman who kept her own name when she married Bill Clinton. She was forced to add Clinton to the end of her name and play down her considerable professional achievements. Rodham Clinton became the first presidential wife in history to have a postgraduate degree and have maintained a professional career up to the point of entering the White House. There, she occupied an office in the West Wing alongside the president's staffers, rather than the traditional first lady's domain in the East Wing. The winds of change certainly swept through the White House. America's new first lady was more interested in promoting her policy priorities than choosing curtains and opening fates. Clinton's agenda focused on bringing the United States closer to the center, and his initiatives included imposing a five-day waiting period for Americans wishing to purchase a handgun and cutting taxes to 15 million low-income families. But Hillary's major initiative, a comprehensive health care plan, failed to pass through Congress. Clinton's foreign policy imperatives included a sustained effort to negotiate peace yeah, in the Balkans. He used NATO to launch military action against the Serbs and force them from Kosovo. North Korea's plan to build nuclear weapons was also a challenge to the Clinton administration, and it called in former leader Jimmy Carter to broker an agreement with the rogue state. Clinton used America's clout to bring PLO chairman Yasser Arafat and Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin to the table, leading to the historic Oslo Accords in September 1993, which allowed limited self-rule in the Palestinian territories. But in a pattern that was echoed throughout his presidency, domestic scandals threatened to undermine Clinton's position. Failed real estate dealings with which the Clintons had been involved became known as Whitewater, and Republicans milked the issue for political capital, attempting to smear the couple's reputation and hobble them at the next election. But the campaign went well for the Clintons. Hillary kept her appearances low key focusing on the Democratic Party's liberal heartland, where she was popular with the rank and file. Bill Clinton won the 1996 presidential election with an increased majority, but it didn't take long for more scandals to surface. Paula Jones, a former Arkansas state employee, had filed a sexual harassment suit against the president, and Clinton was forced to pay her a three-quarter of a million dollar settlement to prevent it from going to trial. but there was much worse to come. An internet gossip column called The Drudge Report got wind of an affair between the president and one of the White House interns, 22-year-old Monica Lewinsky. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false. With Hillary by his side, the president attempted to weather the storm, but the evidence mounted up and he was forced to confess his infidelity. While Hillary stood by him in public, she later admitted she could hardly bear being with him in private. I don't think there is a fancy way to say that I have sinned. It is important to me that everybody who has been hurt know that the sorrow I feel is genuine. First and most important, my family, also my friends, my staff, my cabinet, Monica Lewinsky and her family, and the American people. I have asked all for their forgiveness. I have repented. It was a chastened president who saw out his last years in office. The Clintons began to look to the future and decided it included a political career for Hillary. A Senate seat in New York was earmarked for her and the couple bought a house in Chappaqua, just outside New York City. Hillary entered Congress in 2001, becoming the first first lady to run for public office. In the 2008 presidential race, she won more primaries and delegates than any other woman in American history but lost the Democratic nomination to Barack Obama.